The European Union is looking to Africa to help replace imports of some Russian natural gas. A draft EU document seen by Bloomberg News says countries including Nigeria, Senegal and Angola offer largely untapped potential for liquefied natural gas. Maria Tadeo, Bloomberg European correspondent, joins us now from Brussels. And Maria, as the conversations go on about when and if we'll see an oil embargo on Russian oil, the gas conversation focuses on Africa. Yeah, and, and we know that uh, the European Union has said it wants to cut down its reliance, or its reliance, excuse me, on Russia by two thirds uh, this year. So that means they need to find new providers, and they believe that some of the Western African countries could actually uh, fill that void. A lot of this, of course, will depend on the infrastructure, will depend on future contracts, and we know that gas, unlike oil, is difficult when it comes to the transportation. It needs a lot of uh, infrastructure that comes with it, particularly with the pipelines. But it does show that the European Union is taken this seriously when it comes to unplugging from Russia. And Anna, I would point to a figure that came out on Sunday from the German government. They say that their reliance on Russian gas has gone down from 55 percent before the war to now 35 percent. The other big issue now moving uh, to oil is this new package of sanctions, which could come in the next uh, few days, a proposal to go for a light embargo, this gradual phase out from now until the end of the year. The Germans, by the way, they say they're now on board with this. And of course, a a lot of this in anticipation to that mid-May deadline that would see potentially a big spat between the Europeans mm. and the Russians over whether or not this gas is going to be paid in rubles or not, which European authorities say they should not pay in rubles any European company as that would be in breach of sanctions.